Okay, let's talk about some other creepy crawlies. Okay, we looked at insects and we looked at arachnids and spiders this week. Now we are looking at worms, slugs, and snails. Okay, so we're going to explore them in this book, Creepy Color Crawlies. Um, it is an Usborne book and it is by Kathy Kilpatrick. Okay, we are not going to read every page in this book, okay? We're just going to look at a few sections and we're going to kind of look at some pages more than once as we look at worms and then we look at snails and um, slugs. So let's take a look. We're going to start with worms, okay? Hopefully you just read the diary of a worm or you just watched the diary of a worm okay and so let's talk a little bit more about worms okay so worms are called annelids and they have segmented bodies um, but they don't have kind of all of the other parts like millipedes and centipedes do so You can see here the segments of the body. They have no obvious head and no feelers, and they never have legs. However, they do have a mouth opening at their front end, even though it's hard to tell what their front end is. So earthworms crawl along by using their muscles to make parts of their body longer and thinner and then shorter and fatter. So here you can see that they, this part of the body is stretched out and down here this part is scrunched up so that it's kind of stretching and scrunching and stretching and scrunching. There's also bristles on their skin, really tiny little ones that help them from slipping. And you can see here the tunnels in Diary of a Worm. It talked about how worms bring air into the earth, which is really important. And that is true. That is one of the really important things about worms and why we need them. Okay, we're going to flip over one more page. Oh, look at that giant worm. Okay, the longest earthworms in the world live in Africa and Australia and they can grow to be four times the length of this one. So see how big this one is? In Africa and Australia there are worms that are even longer that are four times longer. So if you took this four times that is crazy long. All right now we are going to look at slugs and snails. So slugs and snails are a different group of invertebrates and they are in a group called mollusks. Okay. Slugs and snails both have a muscular foot. So they move along on this kind of muscular one foot and they also have two pairs of tentacles. Do you see that there? Snails have a shell on their backs and slugs don't. Snails eat by running their t rough tongue along leaves and fruits and flowers and it is like a file. Do you see that there? Their tongue has rough bits on it that break off pieces of the leaves and fruits and flowers so that they can eat them. That's cool, huh? Too far. Yep. Here we go. This whole page is about slugs and snails. So slugs and snails belong to a group of mollusks called gastropods. This means belly foots. So slugs 
are land snails that have no shell. So, so the reason that slugs and snails are called gastropods is because their whole body is kind of this muscular foot under their belly that helps them move. And the difference between slugs and snails is that slugs have no shell. They're basically the same animal, but without a shell. Slugs and snails make a slimy substance that helps them move along. So you see this kind of slimy trail? They leave a slime trail. The flat under part of their body is called a muscular foot. A slug's slime is so protective that it can climb over a very sharp knife unharmed. This is a great gray slug. Slugs and snails have, live in damp places among plants, under stones, or in the soil. This is a banded snail and you see the bands on the shell. This one's called a painted snail. When the weather is very dry or cold, the snail pulls its body inside of its shell. Its slime hardens and forms a plug so that the snail is sealed inside. So this is an example right there, of a sealed plug of slime. When the weather improves, the plug soften, softens and the snail comes back out. There are giant snails in many parts of the world. Do you see this giant snail? This one comes from West Africa. One of the largest snails ever found measures 34 centimeters from the top of its shell to its head. Giant snails eat all kinds of plants and their fruits, including bananas. Do you see the snail eating the banana? And it is bigger than a banana. Can you imagine a snail so big it is bigger than a banana? These long tentacles have eyes at their tips. They can tell only light from dark. They don't see things like we do. The short tentacles smell and feel things. They don't have eyes. So this is where the slugs and snail's eyes are. And this is more like its nose, these short tentacles. And this is a young African snail. The young snails look just like the parent. They're just smaller. So now have fun going out and finding some slugs and snails and worms. It is the perfect time of year for that. And use that clear lid that I gave you to, to look at them from the bottom and see how the slugs and snails and worms move. It's different than um, animals with feet. So check it out.